Have you been looking for a station that fits a specific need? Have you been after a station that bends to your every whim and desire? Look no further, this is the Ultimate Stations mod for Transport Fever. G'day guys and girls, it's Captain Carter. This is the Ultimate Stations mod for Transport Fever. Now you may be wondering why there are, well, let's put it this way, there's five different stations here in Baton Rouge. And there's a very good reason for this. These are all basic stations, just as I plop them down, and we're going to go through the settings one by one for each of these stations to see uh, what each of them do. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. Alright, starting with the, uh, the first station over here, uh, we're going to have a look at uh, basically all the different upgrades you've got. Now you can place these down, you can do any of these upgrades uh, before you actually place the station. However, what I would suggest you do is you place down the station first. Now the reason for that, I'm going to get into um, pretty quickly. Uh, what will happen is it'll give you four different types of stations. You've got your generic station, you've got a progressive or counter curvature station. We're going to look at those in different episodes as well. Uh, you have a triangle station and you have the half triangle station. Now all of this may seem confusing at first but once you get the hang of this it is a very very good station mod to have. Now starting off with you get all of your normal stuff. Uh, I've just loaded into a 1950 uh, save game, uh, no particular one, I've just called it the Sandbox, I've got no cost mod on. Um, so you're not going to see the prices of any of these today. But what we will see is all the different customization options. So your first one here is your normal track type. You've got your standard uh, wooden sleepers or you've got your high speed concrete sleepers. Concrete sleepers allow you to go higher speeds, uh, wooden sleepers keep you at, uh, I think it's capped at 120 kilometers an hour. Miles an hour could be. Um, Alright, you've also got your containery. I'll leave the containery on because... Actually, no, I'll turn the containery off. It's going to be easy to see. Now, I'll be saving this I'll be saving this station as we go. Just so we can get an idea. Um, I'm not going to look at uh, the tracks. We're going to do that on that one over there. And you'll see the reason why. There is a lot of tracks. Uh, for this one, we're going to have a look at the platform length... Uh, platform length, height. This is the brilliant thing about the mod. It allows you to customize just about every single element of the station. Uh, for instance, your platform height. At the moment, it's set to what would be 55 centimeters. Uh, I can set that up to 1380. As you can see, raises the platform up, makes the platform higher. Can set it down as low as 200, makes it nice and low to the ground. We'll leave it at 200. Actually, it gives you a better, uh, gives you a better impression of uh, the capabilities of the station. So we'll go back into the upgrade mode again. Now this one I want to look at platform length along with curve, rate, curve radius. Now all of these stations you can have curved platforms on, but they show differently depending on the length of platform you have. Now this is a stock standard 160 meter long platform. Now all of these radii here are in meters. So this here is set for a 5,000 uh, or five kilometer curve. Now, as you can see, if I uh, press on that big old apply button, uh, the station now has this slight curvature to it. Very, very cool. Uh, if I now go to that same radius and I drop it to 500, you can see the station now curves more. Drop it to 250, curves even more. 125, curves even more. And you can take this all the way down to a 50 meter curve. Now you are going to get things like too much curvature. Now obviously the bigger the station, oh sorry, probably the shorter the platform length, uh, the better that'll be. Probably not even that. Nope, still too much curvature. So forget it, you're not going to get a 50 meter curve. It's just not going to happen. So let's go something like a 2000, no, we'll go a little bit more than that. We've got 800. So we've got an 800 meter radius curve on the platform at the moment and you, as you can see you can set the platform length to just about any size you want. You got a 40, a 60, an 80, goes all the way up until you hit 550. Now these are already getting extraordinarily big. Um, I'm actually going to hit apply now because once I start going to the next one you're going to very quickly see why it's going to get very very crowded. Now 
I can open that all the way up to 1750. Now that's 1.75 kilometers worth of platform. Now if I press the button, boom, there is your 1.75 kilometer platform. What you would ever use a platform this size for, I have no idea. You're not going to have trains this long. And if you do, you're a madman. Um, 500 meter carry. So that show that gives you there a very, very good idea um, of the sort of, uh, I won't say the limitations of this mod, but the different options available to it in terms of platform length, platform height. And you can also set the width as well. Um, if I hit that big old apply button, I go back into my upgrade screen and we drop back down to platform width. You can set your platform uh, your platform width in the meters anywhere from four meter wide platforms all the way out to 15 meter wide platforms. Now that is huge. Hit that apply button. As you can see that then affects your curvature because the width of your platforms has changed. As you can see, big massively wide platforms. Now as you can see you can also set the track to go along one side and the cool thing is that actually drops your entrances down so they enter in from underneath the line and then go up to the platform which is really 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 cool and you can set that here with your uh, with your leftmost or rightmost platform now I did just try this the other way around and have it with it on the right and kind of didn't like that too much so we're gonna leave that I'll actually turn both the platforms back on so we have both of our sides back correct apply that and there we go. Now, you can also set your, your the roof length. Now, standard roof length is set to 75%. So, 75% of your total platform surface area is covered with a roof. You can set this to absolute zero for the ultimate in open air station experiences. Or, you can set it to anywhere between 25, 50, 75, 80, 95 which is very cool if you want to leave a little bit of concrete left at the end or the full 100 meters. There we go. Uh, I'm going to turn this back down to 50 just for the time being, but you get an idea uh, there with your roof. All right, using this particular station again, you can also set a slope. Now you can set your slope to uh, positive or negative. And if we set it to positive, you can set the slope in percentage. So here we have a 2.5% grade over the entire platform. As you can see, if you want to dig into the left, raise on the right. If I set that to minus, it'll dig, its, it'll dig itself in on the right and raise itself up on the left. Now you can set this all the way through to 100% slope. I wouldn't recommend going that far because mainly you're just going to get an unable to align terrain. Unless you're on a massive hill. But we'll leave this slope turned off for now. You also have the ability to set your entry size or your main entry. So you can have it set to no main entry at all. As you can see, deletes that main, deletes that main uh, ticketing hall area. You can also have, well you could have it as a small entry, a medium entry, a large entry, or extra large if you're looking for the extra space. You can also set the main entry position. Now here it's currently set to central. If I set it to position A, it moves it up here to the left-hand end of the platform. If I set it to position C, it moves it down to the right-hand end of the platform. We'll leave it in the center for now. Now what you can do is you can also set uh, your pedestrian entrances here on each side of the platform to either be on or off. So you, you can just have your main entrance to itself, you can have all your pedestrian entrances and nothing else, but you set that here. So here you have your main entry, so it's your size of your main entry, your entry's position, be A, central, or C. And here is where you turn on or off your pedestrian entry uh, onto each side. So if I select left, it will allow entry to the left only. If I set right, it'll do this side and have an entry on the right only. Same here goes for entry A and entry B and entry C. Entry A sets this, sets this uh, the entrances on the left hand side of the platform here to uh, be either underground surface entrances like these ones or in fact none at all. I can completely turn off those entrances. So now we only have center and right hand side entrances. 
You can also set these between underground, surface, or none at all. So currently we have the uh, entry A, which is the left hand side, set to none. Entry B here is your main entrance, or wherever your main entrance position is, corresponds with entry A, B, or C. And entry C over here, we will set to an underground entrance. As you can see, it's now moved the entrance to an underground pedestrian style entrance. And there is your stairs leading up to each platform from the underground side. You can also have fences. Now you have several different fencing options. You have option A here, which is a typical, uh, typical looking uh, railing type fence. And this is your positioning of the fence. So A is on this closer platform to me now. B is on that far platform, or I can have it on A and B simultaneously. Same as you can set the style. You can have style A, which is this uh, metal, plain metal railing. You can have style B, which is a cyclone looking fence. And you can have option C, which is a pointed security style fence. And you can have this in different colors as well. Currently this is set to white. You can also have green fencing. Or you can have yellow fencing. We'll stick with the green for now. And that is part one of our mod spotlight on the Ultimate Stations mod. I've been Captain Carter. Don't forget to chuck a like at this video, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and check out the Discord channel, the link for which is in the video description below. Make sure you join me in the next episode, where we'll have a look at multiple platforms and transit tracks. I've been Captain Carter. I'll catch us later.